Okay, so our hotel just called and it, it seems that there's a parasite in the water. So we can't shower or brush our teeth at the hotel. So now we need to find a new hotel. And so we've stopped at Bucky's so we can use the bathrooms because they have really nice bathrooms. Like, you know, everybody knows. And I'm gonna try and find a new hotel so we can shower tonight and not be stinky people. So that's where we're at now. Okay, so we just went into Bucky's and it was crazy, insane busy. And there were a lot of people not wearing masks, which is stupid. Um, but I did get my favorite beef jerky. This is good stuff right here. The sweet and spicy. And I got a kolache. And Raja got him uh, an egg and cheese croissant. So we've got our sustenance for the road. And now we're gonna pick out our new hotel for the night so that we have water to shower and brush teeth. Hey, good morning. So, um, I haven't really explained what we're doing this weekend. So, you know, I've talked in a couple of the other videos that we're going to go to Mammoth Lake and do some diving. And so that's what we're doing this weekend. And so because we ended up in a different hotel, we were closer to Galveston. So we did some stuff yesterday in Galveston and had some fun. And now we're going to make the hour drive over to um, Lake Jackson and uh, do some diving. I'm pretty excited about it. How about you? Yeah. Me too. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, well, I'm excited because there's a lot of different things to see down there that we haven't seen in a, a lake. So, I don't know. I hope it's a good one and hopefully it's warm since it's down here in the coast so it's been a little warmer down here um, I don't know is there something you're looking forward to seeing I have all kind of cool stuff let's see hopefully the water is clear um, yeah I hope it's clear it hasn't been clear the past few times so it'd be nice to have some good diving 
Um, okay, let's make our way over there. That means there will be fish to see under the water. All right, so we made it to Mammoth Lake and we're gonna go check it out. Uh, pretty excited because we'll get to see some new things. Um, I've seen some fish, so I know that when we're diving, we'll get to see some, at least, you know, some fish, hopefully. Uh, the guy that checked us in said the visibility is about 10 feet, so no luck on on the super clear water today um but hopefully it's not too cold because we've had a bunch of rain and i don't know just looking forward to doing some diving this morning all right so when you come in in the mornings this is where you're going to stop and check in and someone will be here to greet you and get you all settled to come on in and do some diving for the day Okay, so it says that there's a changing station up closer near the front, but I just thought you would like to see, like, this is kind of the bathroom situation right there. Um, so there are porta potties on site in case you need to go. Okay, and then we've got our air fill station here. So when it, you run out of air, there's a little place right here air fills are ten dollars each and so uh, we are actually setting up right next to the air fill station just in case nice easy little walk so we can take care of it and we don't have to go far Now on this boat and we all know 
Now, how long has this place been here? Well, you know, uh, right timing. The, yeah. the proprietor here. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's just arrived from such a venture. And he's been telling us about all the cool stuff out here. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no way we're going to be able to see everything. I think we're going to have to come back for sure. But yeah. we're from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so we have to like plan a whole weekend around it. But yeah. There's over 150 items in the lake. Um, originally, it was a sand pit before they found the mammoth here. And they started filling it up in 2007. Uh, that's when they placed everything in the lake except the C-130, which was added after it was full. Um, the place has been hasn't been dove since 2016. I got the place in January, and we've been we were supposed to open in April, but COVID hit yeah. until May 1st, and then full operation since May. And okay. each week we just build something new. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is really cool. Right. Yeah, I, I I definitely want to come back a lot, and I love all the lines. Yeah. That's my favorite because yeah, I I you know like uh, we do. No, yeah, ex right yes, right. the tag. So it's nice to be able to go down and see something. All right, and then swim along that line to the next thing. I love that. Yeah, and what's good too is you go to our website, mammothlaketexas.com, and the map with all the lines yeah. is on there. So you can mm -hmm. sit there and plan your journey as you go along. So you know that. And then once yeah. Russell and his team gets done uh, laying all the lines, we're going to have signs down there to say, You are here. Oh, yeah, cool. So kind of like a, you know, a Disney World. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Oh, this way, this way, this way. Oh, that'll be awesome. Yeah. In Azeals, there's a, a museum that shows the mammoth and all the pictures of it did. So it was like a real mammoth. It was yeah. a real one. Oh, okay. It's one of the most important. It's really, yes, it's good that they found the mammoth tusk there, but the most important find is they found a bowl, too, and the bowl has writing on it. And oh. so it proves that there was indigenous people here at the same time as the mammoth. Because so, it was at the same depth. Yeah. At the same depth, yeah. So it's oh, the same wow. Sensor. So when they were dusting off the mammoth, they came across the mammoth, too. So where did they take the mammoth? Do you know? Um, it's in, there's the replicas in the, the uh, restaurant, and then downtown is the actual. Downtown Houston? Uh, no, downtown uh, uh, Cliff Pier. Downtown Cliff Pier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the re they just have a replica of the bowl. The uh, real bowl is in the sink somewhere. Uh, they oh, yeah. for over $50. Wow, so. that's so cool. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was like a, an actual dig site. That yeah, and that's one of the reasons. Did you yeah. notice the fence around it? Yes. Yeah, so whenever you follow that line to the fence, that fence was fencing off the mammoth area that they found it in. Oh, okay. So that's the fence then. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it's been a sand pit since 1865. Uh, Mr. Varner took over in 1970. But once they found the mammoth, they couldn't dig here anymore mm -hmm. because it became an archaeological dig site. And so they fenced off the area, stopped digging, and made it a scoop apart because they all like scoop about it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. All right. That's cool. And I like how there's so much stuff here. I feel like there um, are over 100 items in the lake. And there's stuff that's not marked, so you're just like swimming along, you're like, oh, yeah, there's something. So that boat that y'all saw? Yeah. Right off the platform? Yeah. Y'all went off the, the platform, not with the ring in the middle, right? No, that's okay, the platform. that's the one we went off of. Okay, so plat that's platform six. Okay. If you follow the line down at the bottom that heads east, there is going to be uh, another platform, platform seven. And off of platform seven, there's a, a boat. Off the back of that boat, well, so that boat had a has a marker on it, but the water column has come up about okay. five feet. Okay. So it's submerged. There's several things that have a submerged buoy. Oh. Uh, another example okay. is there's a. Um, uh, well, I mean, I put a buoy on it now, but there's a, uh, a shark cage kind of hanging off mm -hmm. of a crane type thing over here. I think here. we saw that. Yes. No, I don't think we saw that. It, 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 it's a box, but it's got like bars around it. Like, yeah, we didn't like see that. Uh, so that, that's the shark cage. That's down that way a bit. And then, uh, and then uh, there's uh, an offshore rescue craft, kind of like one of those things that you'd see on uh, offshore Mm -hmm. drill ship or something so yeah i think we're gonna have to come back i don't think we're gonna see everything today you, you won't be able to see everything today yeah. I mean, i've been out here many oh times man seen everything yeah so wow so yeah down here at the end of the lake on the east end of the lake there mm -hmm. is a um 
a city bus like we would ride here, you know, in Houston. And on top of the city, so buses like this, and then on top of that is a school bus like this. It kind of looks kind of like a wreck. I don't know how that would have happened, but like, <laughs> it's sitting on it like this with the, the front of this bus this way and the front of this bus this way. Okay. So it has uh, two entrances, your, your front entrance and uh, your kind of mid bus entrance. Uh -huh. And if you go through there, it is pristinely clear because all the side windows are still on the bus. Oh. So I mean, you, you do need to have some wreck training. I do. To, to be able to go yeah. through that. But it is the clearest water that I've seen. Uh, and I mean, you can, as you're swimming through this, you can imagine somebody is sitting here. It's that clear. It's, it's great. Oh, wow. So, okay. Um, there's that. And uh, off of that, there's a, on the front of that bus, there's a line. There's a buoy, and then there's a line that will take you to a old uh, caboose off the back of a road, railroad truck. Or, okay. Road um, that's all right. I mean, you'll be able to go yeah. through it and, and see it. That's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, those are two things that are cool on that. Okay, yeah, because I almost didn't go down that end. Uh, it's a very long swim. You don't really want to swim from here down there. Okay. You would want to go to that platform over on the other end and okay. in there. And go okay. Okay. Uh, have you been to this end? No, we haven't. So this end is where the C-130 is. Okay. So that that is a massive airplane that that little fire truck right here could be physically inside of. It's that big around. Yeah. Um, and uh, that that's pretty cool. It's marked by four red and white buoys. Okay. And then off the back of the C-130 is a is a line labeled as well. well that will take you to a homemade submarine. It's not you know a real nautical submarine. <laughs> uh, you can go into it as a wreck. It's got openings uh, all, all throughout. Oh, okay. Yeah. King Kong there. Yeah, King Kong. So there's a King oh, Kong okay. down here. Um, the, the owners made this and put the King Kong in it. So um, it's some metal that they have that they've fabricated around and make it look kind of like a King Kong. He's like got his face looking up this way. It, freaked me out yeah. the first time I swam over it did not know it was there. Oh. <laughs> it's about five foot under the water looking up at you like this. It freaked me out. But anyway there's um there's a hand down like this on and he's facing um west. Okay. So he's got a hand down like this and on this hand he's holding like a, a dead body. Oh wow. That's okay. Cool. Yeah. Off the um front of King Kong is the line that takes you to the deep hole. Uh that okay. that goes down to sixty five feet. It's a an encased uh, steel column that goes down to 65 feet. There's okay. no silt in it. I was just there the other day. Um, off of that, there's a line that will take you north-ish. If you follow that, it'll take you to a fire truck with the, the ladder. Okay. So, oh, cool. Yeah. And then yeah. From the fire truck, you can take a line that takes you to the submarine. So if you wanted to get all the way over there, it, you, you would be exiting over there. But you okay. get in on the other end of the lake. Okay. You can you can drive down there and get in on that that pier down there. Okay. And then you can go out to the sub to the uh, go to the C-130. Go through the go and look through the C-130. You can swim through it to the cockpit and everything. There's holes cut in the ceiling. Um, and then exit the C-130. Uh, follow the line off the back of the C-130 through the uh, uh, through the rear. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, through the rear uh, tail fin. Okay. All of that line, it'll take you to the submarine. Submarine, go all the way down the submarine. You'll find another line that says two fire truck. It will say very long swim. Uh, it's about a 15 minute swim. You're going to think that this is surely going nowhere. You're halfway okay. across the lake. You're not. Yeah. Um, and it will take you to the buoy out here, which will be the fire truck. Um, you follow the line off the front left headlight of the fire truck, and it will take you to this tower that's right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went to the tower. And then if you take the yeah. tower, you can take the tower to the boat, and then off the front of the boat, it'll take you to platform seven, which is about right here where you're at. Okay, right. so we got this awesome dive slate that we got to borrow. So we've made a plan. We're gonna go, let's see, we're over here at platform six. And so uh, I think we're gonna swim over to the King Kong and drop down and check that out. And then, um, See if there's a line going to the fire truck since that's kind of close ish. Um, if not, then we'll follow this direction. Um, but I'd like to go to the fire truck and then over here to the submarine. 
and then the big plane, the C-130. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And um, then, you know, just checking out everything else that's over there. Everything there's so much to do here. Um, 
so we're really looking forward to coming back I wish it was a little bit closer to where we live so that we could come back next weekend but uh, we're gonna have to wait and do it maybe I don't know in a couple weekends or so who knows but I'm definitely ready to come back and see everything else um, but yeah you should definitely come and check this place out it's an awesome place to go diving and if you don't dive you can also swim while your diver friends are diving so uh, bring the whole family uh, but yeah come come check out Mammoth Lake yeah, I, yeah.